You know what? You ever had your mom or dad say, say thank you, and you forget? And you turn and you say, thank you. And the hope is when you get older, you say thank you. Well, Teresa's going to share with us a story about ten lepers. Jesus heals all of them. But only one does the real right thing. I want you to guess what he does. Hey, boys and girls, I'm so glad you're here today. Today, we're going to be talking about a story that's found in the book of Luke. Now, Luke's in the New Testament. And did you know that he was a doctor? I wonder how in the world that he could write this book and we could read it if he wrote like the doctors today. Hmm. Well, I'm not trying to get off track, but this is a story of ten lepers who were very sick. Did you know that they had something called leprosy? It was a very bad disease. It would end up eating your fingers off and your toes off, and you could die from it. You couldn't be around your friends. You couldn't be around your family. And anytime anybody got close, you'd ring the bell like this and say, I'm a leper, I'm a leper, I'm a leper. So we're fixing to watch it. Susie, take it away, please. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Luke, chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. Outside the village on the border between Samaria and Galilee lived 10 lepers. We didn't know their name or their stories, but we did know at least one of them was a Samaritan a group that Jewish people distrusted. Call that man Zach. Hi there. I'm sorry, not allowed to shake your hand. Leprosy was a painful skin disease, and there was no doctors or medicines to treat it. But even worse than the sores were the loneliness. Lepers weren't allowed to be around anyone who were healthy, not even their own families. They had to keep more than a social distance. So if Zach had a wife or kids, Probably hadn't seen him in years. Oh, my little boys. All grown up by now, I bet. The 10 lepers' life seemed hopeless. All they can do was stand back and yell at anybody who passed by. Stay away! Don't come close. But we do need food. If you could just leave some under that willow tree by the creek, uh, we'd be grateful. Then, one day, news reached the lepers of travelers approaching along the border road. Big crowd. Here it's that Jesus fella. The teacher? They say he makes sick people well. You're a Samaritan. <laughs> Why would he care about you? Hey, you know, what have I got to lose? Zach hobbled toward the road, walking stick in hand. The other leopards straggled after him. They can see a crowd now, traveling along the road. People won't like us standing so close. I'm not throwing away my shot. Zach can see faces now. The crowd grouped around a man in the middle. The man had a strong face and kind eyes. Jesus, master, have pity on us. To the leper's surprise, Jesus stopped right in the middle of the road. Jesus, master, Jesus, Jesus over have here. pity please. on us. Have please have master. pity on us. The crowd around Jesus backed away, whispering. Jesus stood firm as Zach and the lepers dared to limp closer. Jesus! Master, have pity on us. As the lepers neared, Jesus took a long, clear look. Everyone went silent. Zach could hardly breathe. Then Jesus smiled. Go, show yourselves to the priests. Zach gasped. The only way a leper could approach a priest was if that he confirmed that he had been healed. But as Zach glanced down, his heart sank. His knees and his feet were still shriveled and splotchy. His knees still ached. Oh. Jesus moved on and the crowd followed. The lepers 
stared at each other. Well, that happened. I don't get it. Well, we should go to the priests, like he told us. Uh, I guess it can't hurt. Any more than it already does. Limping, the lepers headed out across the field towards the town. They hesitated as they reached the creek. We'll have to wade across. Painfully, the man clambered down the bank. Zach's stick got caught in the twisted root of a willow tree. <clears throat> the stick went flying, and he tumbled to the ground. Ouch! Instinctively, he jumped to his feet. How'd you do that? Do what? Just jump up. Zach glanced down again. This time, his feet and his legs were strong and whole, skin clear and healthy. Look! My skin! It's clean! The other man glanced down at their own arms and legs and bodies. I'm all better! Woohoo! The lepers laughed and danced till they cried, amazed at what Jesus had done. You gotta get to the priest! Race you! The leopard splashed across the creek, hurtling towards the town. Zach stopped at the water's edge, and the others ran ahead. I'll get to see my boys again. But even as Zach imagined the joy that would come, a face flashed in his head. Jesus, he's healed me. He's the one who's made me whole. Turning back, Zach hurried toward the road. He ran fast, catching up to Jesus and the crowd as they reached the village. Jesus? Jesus! The crowd parted quickly as Zach headed straight for Jesus. Praise God, I'm well! Zach threw himself down on the dusty road at Jesus' feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Zach lifted his head. Dust mixed with tears of joy. Jesus smiled, but his eyes searched the road behind him. Weren't all ten healed? Where are the other nine? As Zach shook his head, Jesus turned to the crowd. Didn't anyone else return to give praise to God except this outsider? Everyone was silent. It was clear that Zach was the only one. Jesus smiled down at him. Get up and go. Your faith has healed you. Zach leapt to his feet as he hurried to see the priests. He had delayed his chance to see his family by a short time, but it was worth it to see the man who had given him back his life. What a great story, wasn't it? When Jesus told the men to go see the priest, they didn't know what was going to happen as they went. On the way, they got their miracle. But only one person came back. Wasn't that interesting? That one person just wanted to say, thank you. And what we need to remember is that we need to always say thank you to all the people that help us every day. Okay, let's pray. Dear Lord, Dear Lord help, us to remember, help us to remember to be thankful, to be thankful and, say thank you, and say thank you, just like the one leper did. And thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hi, it's Carrie and Trudy again, and boys and girls, we're excited to be here with you, and we're going to sing a song about kindness. Please join in. There's no way to get it wrong. No way to get it wrong. You can try it anytime. Try it anytime. 